Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 and today's mod showcase is the Unimog 1200-1600 so that's just your motor choices and it's a decent little mod everything's modeled really well I see all works I'm not getting any kind of random errors or anything like that so let's go ahead and take a look at our first one this is the bog standard it comes with a front attacher but not front hydraulic which means you can put uh like a little implement on the front that don't need to be lifted up and down and it can power it it has dynamic hoses IC control the thing that kind of bothers me is there's no bed because I had a Unimog before that had a little tipper bed and that was really really great okay so inside we've got you know very nicely modeled and textured interior the seats look right all the controls look right steering turns like it should you've even got the vents and everything like that indicators all the lights don't know why high beams come on all the time but even your dials and everything light up which is a nice touch so the IC controls are the sunroof open and close passenger door you've got the open and close there plus the if I can click it I won't let me click it because I'm over here but the windows roll up and down and it does work and open and close and the back window, which is nice. I always like having a sliding back glass. So, yeah. Okay, here's the startup sound on the inside. What it sounds like on the outside. Accelerating on the inside. Accelerating on the outside. I like the little clapper valve. That's a pretty good touch and everything like that. Sadly, uh, like the other one, I could open the hood and everything, and this one I can't. So that's kind of a missed opportunity. And let's see about our lights. Bottom lights. Lots of work light. That's a very nice one. Cool. Okay, now this is the standard one. Next up from here is just a different color with the bigger engine. There's no sound difference. all the same the next one here is the one with the front weight you get a couple extra little decals here the horseshoe a chain and everything like that so that is what they're calling the extra parts pack okay so you've got bog standard nothing extra parts pack with a front weight sticker pack okay and it comes with the front hydraulic which is an option so you get uh, all these nice little stickers and everything this one is the beacons so no stickers no extra parts but we get a beacon then we have everything so front chain horseshoe stickers beacons I didn't see anything extra other than that oh air horns do they work? Yes, they do. Do they sound different? No. Okay. That one. Okay, so now we've got the different kinds of tires. These are the Nokians. This is what I always use. I like this kind of look of a tire. I'm not so much a fan of those, especially if this is going to be on and off it all the time. So I like those. The Michelin tires. And then the last one here is the standard tires with silver wheels, and you can get those on the Michelins, the Wides, the Nokians. So, and the standard ones like that. So, those are the wide ones. These are the narrow ones. So, yeah, that is the basic outlook and overview of the vehicle. Again, it's very nicely modeled and textured. I like how it's a little bit beat up. You know, it's seen some use. Uh, the only thing I would say would be to add an option to where we could get a non-beat-up model, you know? So let me try to open up this other door. I want to do something here really quick. We'll take a little bit closer look at the interior. So we've got all our defrost vents, sliders, heat, cool, the mixtures the four drive select speedo tachometer over there with uh 
like warning gauges and everything like that built in. No smoking. I don't know if I can get the... No, I won't be able to. I was going to see how detailed the shifter compartment was. But, okay. So that is the overall basic view of the vehicle. I don't think we've got any kind of motor that we can see. It doesn't look like it. All right, so let's move on to its performance and all the other things. Okay, so we got a bog standard one over here. One of the features is for the dynamic hose system. Okay, so these hoses should connect up to these ports and they should all be labeled and everything like that. So we'll hit our Q. Hey, and it does. Everything looks like it goes where it should. You've got your power cable there. Your light cable, your hydraulic ins and outs, PTO shaft, and everything like that works good. Uh, the only problem with this particular mod is the hitch isn't actually on the hitch. But that is a mod with a mod. So now we'll move over to a vanilla trailer. Okay, so this is hooked up to one of the cargo liners. This is vanilla. There's nothing, you know, aftermarket about it or anything like that. But we didn't get a dynamic hose hookup, and the hitch is still the same. So I think uh, what needs to be done is it put into the Giants editor, and that node brought up to the actual ball there. And then that should line up properly, and it won't look like it's dragging around or anything. But other than that, that's not a huge hard fix. It can be an update, and should be a pretty damn easy fix for somebody. I could even do it myself, but I won't upload somebody else's mod, so that's what that is. That's vanilla, so we don't get dynamic hoses on any of the vanilla trailers. I tried a bunch of them. Okay, next we'll move on to the plow test and we'll see what it does. Okay, so for in this test, we have the Lemkin Titan 11. This is a vanilla plow. It's supposed to require 240 horsepower. This truck tractor is only set up for 160. So we're going to see how well the actual scripting for the motor and the weight of the truck is actually set up for so it should not be able to put, uh, tow this at its working okay so it's working uh, speed right here is a nine miles an hour so let's go ahead and see what it does okay that's at eight so yeah I think it needs to be toned back a little bit to be perfect okay so now we'll move on to the big one. Okay, so uh, I think everybody knows this plow. It's the one from the big boat pack, the Gregory Benson SLSP2, I think is what it is. Go ahead and take a look at its specs. SPSL9, and it requires 550 with a maximum speed of nine miles an hour, okay? So let's go ahead and get her down in the dirt. person could actually work with this and we are going slightly uphill uh, this is field 25 okay I know it's two miles an hour but the reason that this test is important okay one uh, it should not be able to hook up to this the hitch itself is wrong I don't know how those are classified within the XML files though but this is something that needs to be dialed back okay this is for gameplay balance. The truck itself, okay, in its configuration right here, so we go to tractors, this is in the tractors file, Unimog. The only option I have here is the 1600, 160 horsepower, okay? It's $47,000. It's $2,000 more than a Hurleyman. So, and you can't hook a Hurleyman to this and pull it. Uh, I've done a whole video <laughs> on things you can do and can't pull with a Hurleyman and a Zetter. So, the Zetter Major. So, that's why things like this need to be modified in such a way that they make sense when it comes to gameplay. Because you can buy this, and this can be a do it all. I mean, there's nothing that this can't do that a, a normal tractor could do. So, you're getting a tractor that, you know would cost you anywhere from $250,000 up to the big bud pack. Yes, it might do this just a little bit slower, 
but you can just step it down, you know, one size plow, and you know, there you go. So that's why I do these tests is to see how balanced it is compared to vanilla equipment. Okay, so this game file doesn't run the uh, more realistic game engine or anything like that. We're not using the fuel mod or anything like that. So I think for this mod to be perfect, the author needs to go into the XML files and do a little bit of configuring to make it right. Um, you can't just go in there and just type in a amount of horsepower for what it is. Uh, I don't have RPM here that would show me you know, how many RPM it's actually running, but I think the way the game does it is off of 2200 RPM. So you have to find horsepower that's based off of 5250 uh, RPM in the real world. You have to get this actual torque value, then apply that down to 2200 RPM max. Okay, or you can raise up the RPM limit, but then you get a whole host of other problems because the game engine is kind of itemized around that RPM limit. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, kind of put that out there. It's not horrible or anything like that, but if you are looking for something super realistic, this is probably not the truck for you, and I already checked, and it is not uh, set up for MR yet. So I think that's something that the model office should look at. So I, uh, I think that does it for the Unimog. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you want me to check out a mod on ModHub or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. If you dislike it, hit dislike. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.